morning, class. My name is Ricardo Berrigan, and I want to thank the professor for actually letting me go up. And uh, my topic, or my speech, is going to be about the legalization of marijuana. <clears throat> you see, the, leg uh, excuse me. the legalization of marijuana has always been a controversial subject, of course. The fact is that the legalization of marijuana has significant benefits. It can help boost our economy, significantly reduce crime, and help treat cancer patients. How can the legalization of marijuana boost our economy, though? Well, if you guys didn't know, marijuana has been legalized in Colorado. Statistics confirm that Colorado's cannabis industry brought in more than 270 million in just the first quarter of 2016 alone. New analysis from the Tax Foundation found that nationwide legalization of marijuana can generate up to 28 billion in tax revenues for federal, state, and local governments. This money generated can provide for more health care, social programs, and state-of-the-art education. We all know how important education is for our country and the rest of the world. <clears throat> well, now that we know that legalization of marijuana can significantly enhance our economy, it can also help reduce crime. According to the Colorado Bureau of Investigation, the state saw an overall decrease of 1% in reported crimes for 2014. Now, 1% might not seem a lot to you guys, but if we're talking about decreasing crime, that definitely is a great thing. <clears throat> the state also saw an overall decrease of 2.5 in the crime rate for per 100,000 people. Digging even deeper, Colorado experienced a 3.1% drop in property crimes and a 12.8 decrease in homicides. I mean, talk about reduction of homicides, right? Also, it is believed that legalizing marijuana will obliterate revenue for illegal drug dealers. Nobody wants drug dealers in the neighborhood. <clears throat> also, it is believed that legalizing marijuana, oh, excuse me, advocates contend that making the substance less profitable for criminals will result in a decrease in violence associated with the trade. This could protect or even save your little one's life if, worst case scenario, your son or daughter was caught in between a bad deal. <clears throat> the legalization of marijuana can reduce crime and give indiv individuals a much more peace of mind and can certainly allow our police officers to focus more on real crimes. For my final reason why marijuana should be legalized, it is because it can help treat cancer for those unfortunately diagnosed. Cancer is just horrible. Chemotherapy is just as horrible and it can take a toll on the patient and his or her family. You know, many state that marijuana is a gateway drug or is for lazy people who just want to get high all day and throw their lives away. <clears throat> but when I vouch for the legalization of marijuana, it is definitely for, or genuinely for a greater cause, excuse me. <clears throat> How many of you guys have heard of CBD? Anybody here? CBD? Well, if you guys don't know what CBD is, it stands for cannabidoidal. Cannabidiol, cannabidoil, people can pronounce it different ways. <clears throat> well, cannabidoil is a cannabis compound that has significant medical benefits, but does not give people the actual high. It is a great alternative for those who truly only need the medicinal benefits of marijuana. <clears throat> From research, the American Cancer Society conducted an amount of small studies of smoked marijuana and found that it could be helpful in treating nausea and vomiting from cancer chemotherapy. And few studies have found that inhaled, meaning smoked or vaporized marijuana, can be helpful treatment of neuropathic pain. What is neuropathic pain? Well, neuropathic pain is pain caused by damaged nerves. Smoked marijuana can give cancer patients the munchies, which is a very popular term for it. Or in other words, it is basically uh, improving food intake for patients. In conclusion, the legalization of marijuana can skyrocket our economy, significantly reduce crime, and help treat cancer. Some people out there, like my mother, for instance, are strongly against the legalization of marijuana, <laughs> even with hard proven evidence of its medicinal benefits. But as the saying goes, only you decide what's right for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.
Just under five. Do you have a copy of the final draft for me? All right, Ricardo, the subject is clear. Uh, your proposition, I think um, you, you have it there. It is stated appropriately, but I think you want to indicate that that is, in fact, the proposition of the speech. It's um, one of those things that you need to highlight a little bit more. I, we talked about it a little bit, like in an English paper, you would never say, you know, this is the thesis of the argument here, but for an oral presentation, it's a little bit more helpful. I think most people have discerned it, so I, it's not a huge problem, but you could probably make it more distinct. Also, uh, there's, a, there's a preview, so I know what the main issues are for the presentation. That's, that's fine. Uh, in the body of the speech, it's very well organized. You have distinct supporting points. There are transitions between those points. I know when you're done with one issue and you're moving on to the next, that helps make your argument a lot more coherent. Uh, so you're, you're doing good when it comes to the organizational issues. The uh, evidence is, um, on the first point, you've got uh, example evidence all over the place from Colorado. You've got information about uh, the amount of money that it's generated for the economy in Colorado. Um, you do want to give us a source on that. Uh, I think you had a source citing this $28 billion figure in potential tax revenue. That seems like a very high amount compared to any estimate I've heard. I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying that it seems a lot higher than things that I've heard about that. And so it probably needs some more explanation. And definitely, uh, you need to tell us a little bit about the source and how they arrived at that particular conclusion. Uh, the data that you have on crime in Colorado is mostly statistical in nature. The, the correlation to legalization, though, I think is a little bit problematic. I, first of all, it would be understandable why crime would go down if you suddenly got rid of things that once were crimes and aren't crimes anymore. Okay, so I could see that. Why would it have an impact on some of the things that you point out, property crimes, for instance, and even homicides? There needs to be an explanation. If you're going to suggest that people, like you, at one point you did suggest uh, that um, you know, one of the sources of crime problems is uh, competition between gangs and uh, maybe uh, you know, the drug dealers having shootouts and that sort of thing. If there's any way to tie in the homicides that have declined in Colorado to you know, less gang activity, you know, s smaller numbers of gang-related shootings and something like that, that would make your argument a little bit more reasonable on that particular point. Otherwise, I think you've got a statistical correlation that I don't think does much to prove the causation that you're talking about. On the cancer issue, um, I didn't really hear any citation except the American Cancer Society study that you mentioned with, that talked about the potential benefits of smoked marijuana, um, that it has these impacts. The uh, CBD, you didn't really talk about. By the way, CBD is separate from the smoked marijuana. I guess maybe it could be vaped. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how those things work out. But the idea that, uh, this, that people who are cancer patients can utilize this without having the uh, hallucinogenic effects uh, of uh, smoked marijuana, I think, is, is a good point. I do think you need to point out, though, that, there, that maybe this is... Uh, better alternative than other medications that are available because cancer patients have a lot of medications that have, are designed to address those kinds of issues. So why do we need this also? And why do we need to legalize it for everybody in order for medical patients to have access to it? it just it, At best, it's an advantage, an extra advantage, as opposed to, a, I think, a, a primary reason for legalization. Um, maybe there would be pharmaceutical regulations or something like that that you would apply there. I think you do a good job speaking to the audience for the most part. You're very clear when you're presenting, and you also had a good summary at the end of the speech. All right. Thank you.